And on this edition of From the Top, we're joined with Bryson Kaler. He's the Executive Vice President and Chief Information Officer of the Weather Company. And Bryson, welcome to the program. Thanks so much. Happy to be here. Uh, thanks for being here. We appreciate your time. I want to ask you very quickly, um, a lot of your applications at the Weather Company are being repurposed for the cloud. What advantages do you see there? Yeah, we're going through a massive transformation at the Weather Company, really moving ourselves completely into a big data technology company as we look across not just the Weather Channel, not just our digital applications like Weather com and telecast and weather underground but also all of our b2b our weather effects our apis uh, our, our international business that really is a big data technology play uh, migrating to the cloud is, is a core strategy and a key component to making all of this come together um, we have to move into a highly dynamic highly scalable environment that enables us to really focus in on the innovation and the speed of our products and getting innovations and in, in product you know to market very quickly so the, the main advantages i see are really allowing you know our technical teams and our product development organizations to focus in on innovation focus in on finding great new ways to, to expose our data and to satisfy our, our consumers and our customers across the world bryson as you migrate towards the cloud and cloud services cloud applications uh, there must be some challenges and concerns that you have there. What are those? Sure, it's a it's a change in mindset. Uh, moving to the cloud is 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 as much a cultural change as it is a technology change. Um, you really have to really transform from the ground up how your teams work, how they operate, how they interlink with each other. Uh, moving from you know monolithic uh, development organizations that release code once a month to to moving to you know agile Scrum teams where they're releasing code four times a day. Those sorts of changes are massively cultural um, at their core, and and so. Finding a way to retool the entire enterprise culturally uh, to take advantage of all of the technical capabilities that the cloud provides um, is a key focus. Bryson, you mentioned earlier uh, big data or big data analytics. Uh, how is the weather company leveraging big data analytics right now? Uh, weather was the original big data. Um, you know, we ingest terabytes of, of information every day, churn that through our forecasting systems and our forecasting models and distribute that to, to millions and hundreds of millions of consumers um, around the world. Um, so big data is a key part of weather and it always has been uh, since the you know, early days of the very first computers. And, and so for us, as we take all of this data and we find new sources of information, today we have almost 800 different sources of information. We're looking to expand that dramatically. Crowdsourced data, uh, information from personal weather stations, data that we can capture from uh, devices and machine-to-machine -machine type uh, communications really are driving us forward. We want to capture more and more data because the more data we have, the more accurate our forecasts can become. And we're already the world's most accurate forecast and we look to extend that advantage by having more sources of data and leveraging that data in better ways. Bryson, of course, you are, you are migrating towards Amazon Web Services, is that right? Yeah. How is Amazon making that process much faster for you? So Amazon has got a tremendous um, capability as it relates to their infrastructure and their scale. There's no question there. Uh, but many others do as well. But what really sets Amazon apart is the services that they provide uh, from, you know, whether that's on the compute side, the storage side, the networking side, whether that's on the load balancing side or the security side. There's so many services that Amazon provides that we're able to tap into and look at and then not have to rebuild and, again, focus our time on really what differentiates us so Amazon's breadth of service offerings is probably the best asset that they've got to help us. Bryson, thanks for your time. You're very welcome.